Hello everyone, today is our first day of our February release over at Jada Blossom. Here is the bunny faces, three uh, layers on this one, super fun. And know me friends, bunny die. So it's the same size as our previous Nomi's. So that is so fun. The rectangle dies too with the postage die. The gnome dies Easter add-on too for the little carrot there. And bunny trails for my sentiment. The scallop oval die and the stitch oval dies. And here is the wooden ones that you can buy. I think they come with a, a 10 pack of each. And these ones, they stand up. They're so fun. I love that. So that is what we're showcasing today. Those cutie patooties. I think for Friday, I'll be doing one of those. And here I use that paper and I think another one from there. And I'll be posting the colors on the top here so you can see and have time to write it down there's a bunch of um, distress oxide and it's all oxides for today and I'll show you two different um, backgrounds that I make with this same stencil so two different looks uh, super fun I will speed it up also skip a bunch because <laughs> this this video was pretty long and I cut it down as much as I could so you don't have to watch me do the whole stencil I'll do the top and then the bottom so like I said this one has three layers so here is the bottom layer so you're building the little bunny faces and then the second part you'll see it in a bit, uh, will be the ears, the inside of the ears and the little nose. And the last one, you'll be putting the little eyes on. So yeah, super, super fun. So there is the first layer. I'll take that panel off and I'll position my little ears and nose, tape it down and start with the second color. And that's where I change it up on the second one too. I do a, a brown bunny for the second one. This one is gray and the ears are pink on this one and the next one's gonna be blue. So I wanted to do like, you know, two different looks here. And I'll skip again, cause yeah, it takes a long time. So yeah, check it out. Today has some fun new uh, products for Jada Blossom. Tomorrow, super fun again. I have a video for tomorrow also, hoping they'll be on time. And am I gonna have one for the next two days? I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna see how it goes. Now I just position my little eyes and because my bunnies are light gray I go lightly I don't go too dark with my eyes with the black here the second one because my bunnies are dark brown I go a little heavier with the eyes so they stand out So for my tape, I'm just cleaning it off each time so I can reuse them for each layer. Try not to get all ink all over there. Look how cute. So I'm going to dry these little bunnies up with my heat gun. And as you know, I like to do the edge just to frame it up. I'll use the same pink again. And I'll just lightly put some pink around so it frames it all up. Totally don't have to do this. Like I say, I usually do this just for samples for the store or for people that want to see something different. 
I love this stencil. It's so sweet. You'll see, I'll use the second one for my card. And that's almost done. I'll peel that off and you'll see a little frame all around of pink. So cute. So here we go. We're going to go with the browns here. And like I said, I'll do blue ears and a little nose. Kind of like a little more boyish. But my card is girlish. Oh well. It has a little bow. So... So I'm going heavy enough with the brown. So then it looks like solid little chocolate bunnies. I don't know if I'm the only one, but oh my goodness, I do stencil, especially like this there. And my hand gets sore. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a stencil. It shouldn't. There it is. How fun is that? Here's the second part. Line it all up and I'll tape it down and start with the blue. You can always add some more details to these like little bows or you know even little stamped faces on there. There's so much you can do. Or even just do the background like the the first layer and just leave it as B so it wouldn't be that busy for your card if you want to use it as a card you know just look like behind their you know behind their head instead of their face yeah so with the blue because the the brown is so dark I go again a second time on there so I do first layer and then I go again put a second layer on and it does change my color of blue. It doesn't look exactly the same as you see now. It kind of changes it. See, it's kind of more like a turquoise and a blue there. But that's okay. It's all good. And now I'm going to position my eyes. So you really want to make sure that your eyes are not all on one side there. Like the ones on the top. There it is. Now they're okay tape it down and like I said this one I'm gonna go a little heavier with the black and sometimes I'm not showing you the top of the color that I'm using it's because I already used it today like with this video so I'm just going I do write it on top so you know and peel that off Look at that, they're so cute. I did heat set my ink and now I'm going with the blue on the side. I kind of felt like I had a little bit of brown showing on my blue. Maybe it was because I had still some on some of my tape or on the table or something. I heat set it, it, it should have been fine. It shows a little bit not too too bad and I peeled that off and I'll show you both of my samples there it is how fun are these they are so cute super fun I love this stencil set it's awesome all right I'm gonna put my bunny together and I had most of these colored or put uh, some shading on there with my ink. And then I realized I didn't press play. Do not press play. But that's okay because you're just going on the edge of all the pieces. It's just boring anyways to watch me do this. So I think it was all good. So I'm going to wash that and with the pattern I use it has little polka dots on there you can't too, uh, see it too well um, 
I just wanted the blue to match a little bit better the stencil work that I did so I'm just adding some blue the same blue that I did for my stencil it does not match exactly but because I'm putting a couple layers um, behind it it's fine it's all good it doesn't have to be a hundred percent right so here I'm putting the little head on So like I said, these are the same size as your little Nomi boy and girl. So, you know, they're hats. You can wear the hats on these. You can put the little bows like you'll see. That I'll put a little bow in, in her hair. Um, you know, whatever they're holding, you can have them holding it. Uh, like the carrot that I used today, that's one of the previous um, from last year the little carrot set for Easter and here is the little belly on them so yeah so you can have so much fun with these and I left this part on because if you see your little feet not matching oh, I kind of offset try the other one because it should be right in the in the center so the full one will match one of the foot better than the other so you'll have to try that out and I'll pop the little feet up put a pop dot and then I do put another one behind it because they are a little bit big and you don't want it to be sagging so there I'll put two just release one of the release paper off because I just need the one to hold on the bunny and here I thought I was gonna put the inside and I remembered oh there's another layer to those ears so then they match up with the head and I kind of was sad I should have popped my head to have more dimension you know me dimension so probably next time I'll have my head sticking up mm-hmm I think so oh if you watch my video on Friday it was my post day on Friday and I did the car and I had the windshield because I put um, acetate I found a way to do it that you know the steering wheel is inside the car instead of outside the car so watch my video for tomorrow I did another one yes I'm proud of myself I did it and it's super cute so I hope it's in on time like I said at the beginning my video for tomorrow and yes I love 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 my car for tomorrow so I'm just putting a little bit of uh, pink on her cheek. And there's the little nose. I had it colored um, the same color as the bunny because why not, right? Just put a little bit of uh, marker and have it black. And I didn't show on the video, but I did use, I'm going to have to look. I use glossy ac accent on the nose. So it's shiny, just like her little eyes that I'm going to put down. Because right now, as you can see, the little nose is flat. It's not shiny. So yeah, glossy accent on the nose. To make it glossy so there and that's the little eyes I use use the biggest ones and I'm not sure if Jada Blossom still has those little um, eyes but they did have them so check check it out if you're interested in those for your little bunnies and here's my little carrot 
and that's from like I said last year's set and have a little greenery to put on top I put a little bit of brown just to darken it up and there's his little hand I was going to use, if you remember, just a little bit there, I had the other ones, they look like little arms. I decided to put the little carrot, so that's why I got the little hands instead. So you have it in the set, like the two different style of hands. And there. I'm going to pop the little hands. And just because I have a little ink there, my little, um, what do you call it, pop dot is not holding good. That's why. There, look how cute she is. She's so cute. And then I had the little tongue. You can put it white too, so it looks like little teeth. And I'm just going to put that in there. So I'm hoping that Jada Blossom continues on making little critters like this. They're so cute. All right, we're going to start doing layers for my card. So again, Broken China used it, like I said, on other ones. That's the blue I used on my little bunny pieces and my stencil so because the bottom had a little bit of ink I had to continue on the other edges and there's my card four and three eighths by five and three fourth and I'm gonna just glue that first panel down just like so and as you can tell, I didn't do the whole thing. I just wanted to match with my stencil that I did. So I just did where you're gonna see. The rest is gonna be covered with another layer. Just trim that off. And I didn't ink the inside. I was like, no, it's fine. It's nothing gonna be close to it, so it's all good. So there is my stencil background going to center that one yeah there was a little flaw there I don't know if I got it wet or something on that panel but that's okay because this scallop is going to cover it and then there's another layer Kind of looks like a big Easter Easter egg I think it's so cute love that paper so there is my cutie patootie and I popped her up also so the scallop is popped and the bunny is popped up so we have some dimension and there is carrot patch for my um what you call it little sentiment and I pop it so cute so I'm going to show you again the materials that I used here all the goodness and I also used the one uh, the new st stamp I had forgot to put it in there so yes the new stamp also that we are showcasing today I hope you liked my samples for today of my stencil work and my card, and I'll see you all later. Bye.